Okay. Okay. Should we be quiet now? Yeah. yeah. You okay. I'll stop talking. As I'm doing well, this. Well, actually, do you guys understand you're on a program yes. with an audience? Wait, is it happening it, live? It is yeah. happening now. Oh, no. <gasps> okay, so here we go. <laughs> My publicist four. is gonna kill me. Be bold and <laughs> be heard with Matt Jackson, who I haven't talked to in two weeks. I've missed you, Matt. Well, Karen, Happy New Year. Thank you for this platform. I am so overjoyed to continue doing this with you in this new year. Be Bold and Be Heard is a podcast that we started, I don't know, probably 12, 13 weeks ago. And it was about, you know, kind of celebrating diversity and different voices throughout the entertainment industry. It was a way to connect with people during the pandemic. And I have to tell you that I've actually been able to connect with friends through this podcast and actually see faces because it's a weird time. Um, today's podcast is um, really special because we're kind of going to go inside the actor's studio a little bit. And we're, we're talking to two of the most dramatic actors. You know, if, when you think Judy Dench and when you think of people like that, you automatically think of Brooke Dillman, right? So we are going to first and foremost introduce one of the most dramatic actresses of all times, but actually one of the funniest ladies, Brooke Dillman. Hi. Hello. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> So, Brooke, thank you for adjusting your schedule, and Michael, you as well, for um, our power outage last week. Oh. Uh, you know, I'm still here on the island of Waikiki, but I could not forego the, the podcast situation. So, um, Brooke, you know what? This what? podcast is about comedy. Do you know anything about it? No, I don't. I don't enjoy the comedy. <laughs> I don't. And, and, what is to, there's nothing to laugh at. Yeah, oh, not to laugh at. Um, and Michael Berry, we'll just go to right into yes. introducing you too, because you have been making uh, the most of this pandemic by also making people laugh during this time. Um, oh, you've been doing some um, character impersonations from what show is it again? No. <laughs> it's this little show. I don't know if you've heard of it. It's this little Canadian sitcom called Shits Creek. Right. Um, yeah, there's there's some really good people on it. I'm glad they're finally getting their you know, their moment yeah, to shine. A couple of nods, yeah, right? bunch of up and comers. Up and comers. Yeah. You know that little Catherine O'Hara, Eugene Levy. They're finally getting their 15 minutes. I think it's about time. Yeah, yeah they've been so talented. You're getting 15 minutes. Yeah. Yeah, or at least 10. Um, yeah. It's yeah. <laughs> what started as, you know, a really bored afternoon early in the pandemic, um, you know, and a little bit of day drinking maybe has has turned into something really special. It's been it's been really exciting. That's awesome. Has the Hollywood community embraced you? Um, it's hard to tell over social media. I uh, yes. From Jersey yeah, City. I, 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 I question, but like, does like are there people like, you know, Hollywood types were like, oh my God, we have to have you do X, Y, and Z for our upcoming series. Um, I, I keep hearing friends will message me, friends in the industry. They're like, hey, you just popped up on this group text or like you're on this. So I, I haven't heard from many people directly, but apparently I'm being buzzed about, if you well, will. Well, I have a series of names and numbers here of people that would like to get in touch with you. So oh, afterwards, great. I will be giving this to you. I'm oh, going amazing. to stalk you for some attention. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to be your stalker. Yeah, so I, yeah, I would exactly. be honored to have you stalk me. <laughs> I'm, I'm a little there. starstruck I'm there. Right Where now, are so. you? I'm in Jersey City. I'm coming. Great. <laughs> I have a pull-out couch. I'll see you in 10 minutes. <laughs> uh, <laughs> well, Brooke, weren't you on the East Coast for a minute? For a minute, and then was sent home. Weren't you playing Britney Spears in the Britney Spears? Yes, movie? I was playing Britney Spears. Yes, the young Britney Spears. <laughs> Oops. Right. In the Broadway musical Once Upon a One More Time. Yes. No. <laughs> but we were actually rehearsing for it's the uh, Broadway musical based on her songbook. It's a twist of a fairy tale. And, uh, it, but using her songbook and we rehearsed for literally two weeks and then, you know, I mean, I was there when Broadway shut down and yeah, it was, it, you know, all the rumors and the, you know, an usher has it at six and, you know, this and that, and it was all this. And then 
Bye. Yeah, and, and here we it. are, right? And so, here we are. But it's going to be great when it comes back. I, I'm so excited for that show. I'm, oh my God. Way, it's it going to be so good. It is so good. Oh my gosh. It's so funny and so sweet. And the, the songs are amazing with the, with the you know, book of the show. And it's just, it's going to be so great. But yeah, mm. that's going to be a little while. Yeah, well, we're, we're just honored to have you guys join us today, just to kind of say hello and to have people see your faces and to be with us. Um, Karen, we have just interviewed some amazing people. Um, yeah. And and yeah, Brooke and Michael, I am like kind of like, this is so exciting. <laughs> this is like our, you know, you guys, you guys kind of wrap up the dozen for us. This is like our, our dozen, you know? And Brooke, I have to tell you last week, which was the trial run for the show. Your your sweater had just come off. Yes, my hanger. sweater. It was I'm, all, yes. You know, and now it's ironed and you've like, you know, it's all like put it's together. Not, it's, well, I had those things that, because I haven't worn clothes for a year. Yeah, it has a hanger. hanger thing. See, yeah. it does that. <laughs> when you did that, I thought it was like pointy shoulder pads. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like your Madonna yeah. bra went up. <laughs> like, I got my Madonna. Yeah. It's this supposed is to be wrong. down here. And, <laughs> yeah. But oh my God, I could listen to you do Moira all day, like a 24 oh, uh, Thank hour. you. See, so you say that, and then you're my roommate who's so done. He's oh, like, Michael. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and he was, it's all his fault because he introduced me to Schitt's Creek. And the first time I did it was we did a challenge because he does an amazing David. And so early on, we did one of those Instagram, like, challenges instead of doing push-ups we did an impression one where he did david and i did moira and he's like walking around behind me i was like don't be so disgruntled david and he did this and we were like well that was fun and went well i was like we should do a youtube show and he was like no i have no desire and i was like done i'll just do it by myself and now i know he's incredibly annoyed and now i just always have tea yeah and i just he'll see me in the kitchen just with like a crazy wig on an outfit i'm like hey how's it going and he's like okay here we go (laughs) i'm like i hope you're having a deliriously delightful day (laughs) (laughs) do you cook on gelatas oh i'm sorry what What? are you doing brooke to keep people laughing are you doing anything am i doing anything yeah I'm growing my hair out. That's let's pretty see, funny. Let's see, let's I'm, see I'm growing my gray. Well, here's the thing, Michael, is that my actual hair now could be one of your wigs. For <laughs> so here we go. It here looks go. great though. No, look at, look at the, see, it's like. <laughs> it's a steely ombre. It's, a steely. It's <laughs> I mean, here's the thing, Brooke. And then my husband cut it. I was like, cut my hair to my husband. And he just chopped. And this is what my hair looks like now. Well, he did it for Let me tell you something. The gray is amazing. The gray is amazing. You like it? Yes. It's It's, great. It's like Polly Walnuts from the Sopranos. It's like gray here, and then it's not gray anywhere else. But, I mean, does this, this looks exactly like a wig you have, Michael, doesn't it? It, it looks pretty similar to, to this gal I got here, minus oh, the, ah, I wasn't kidding. I literally just took these off. So they're all in a bag next to me. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yes. Wait, but, Michael, but, where do you keep these costumes? Are you, I'm assuming you're at home. I'm, I'm in my apartment. They were in a lot of bags. And then my friend Jake actually just sent me a whole bunch of really nice clothes. Cause he was like, you gotta up your game, bro. And well, he didn't say bro, wow, um, he's, wow. but so I finally just hung them all up yesterday. And then another friend is gonna touch up my wigs and I'm gonna put them in nice individual bags. Cause right now they're all just in a Wegmans bag. Um, oh God, we're, gonna really have a, we're gonna have a museum. Well, I know. What would Moira think about you just throwing your wigs? Horrified. She names Horrified. them, hangs them. And- I know, I should have a wig wall. I'll get there one day. Yeah, you should have a wiggle. Maybe when you come back to LA, you can like have like a display window that people can walk by, kind of like when people light up their their houses for Christmas. Just light up my wigs. Light up your wigs like year round. It'd have to be a big walk. It's just you're like (laughs) David. You're in a window on you know Sunset Boulevard at the Standard with (laughs) lit up. And I'll just stand there in a in a glass box, just looking at people. Tourists. Yeah. Hi. That's the guy. That's the guy. That's, that's, the, that's the wig guy. He's taking a nap in there, but that's the guy. 
tips, yeah. please. <laughs> um, Karen, do you have any questions for these super dramatic well, people? I have to tell you, I was introduced to Schitt's Creek about a year or two ago, and I tried watching it, couldn't stand it. But two weeks ago, I started watching it again. Mm -hmm. And I just am binge watching it completely. And my family wants to know what's wrong with me because I'm sitting <laughs> here in the studio laughing and they go, you'd never laugh like that, but I do now. So mm -hmm. um, we've got to see you, you know, do your performance. Me, uh, like right now? Yeah. No. <laughs> like so you, mean, you mean like Michael and Brooke like actually get their own shows, you mean? I think so. Together, yeah. they would be, you know, hysterical. Well, that's I'm really what this that. is. This was. This uh, is uh, like it. This is hey, actually a chemistry wait. read. Okay, you guys, you didn't tell you. myself to your wagon. Yeah, <laughs> your wagon. <laughs> It, I think that's a, a joint it, that hitch goes both ways. I'm oh, such like I'm actually such a fan of yours, so I'm very excited. <laughs> when I say your name, I was like, "You're joking." Well, <laughs> now Brooke and I have this really fun history that mm -hmm. we used to do Spartan races together, yep. and yep. our our uh, really muscular bodies led us to becoming friends, which led us to working together, which yes. led us to actually getting a series together. Yeah. Yeah. And and Brooke, you you did three seasons of three seasons that, of wrecked. Yeah. Of wrecked. Oh. Yeah. So we have a really fun history. And it's just, you know, it's great to connect with uh actors and and people who, you know, aren't able to really work right now. It's just a little bit of a bizarre time. So yeah. yeah. Karen, do you have any questions? Anything you want to ask? Well, first of all, Brooke, you, yeah. can, you can work right now. You're doing it, okay? So you just need to get on Zoom and just entertain us and, you know, keep in front of us because some of us are bored housewives. <laughs> well, well, Matt knows that I have a billion ideas that I never act upon. It's like a friend and I, we had these characters that we created like 10 years prior and then 10 years we like wrote a song for them and performed it on because someone made us do it on it. But I just have, I have no get up and go. I just- Brooke, I, you call me and say, listen, if you want the ideas from me, you've got to really yell at me. You've got to be aggressive. So I call her at like three o'clock in the morning where are the ideas? I need them. So anyways, now that Michael and Brooke know each other, there could also be an idea here, right? This is this is my whole plan. This is my whole plan. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Great. I, I'm a real hard worker when I get the job. I just don't know how to... Brooke, why don't you keep, keep pitching yourself to Michael on your work ethic, okay? Yes, I will. I am a very hard worker. I wake up at 10... A.M. sharp every day. Early. Early. Oh my gosh. No. See, it, when I wake when I wake up in the morning, this is how much I hate morning. When I wake up uh -huh. in the morning, I wish I had died in my sleep. That's how much I hate morning. I, I feel you. I wish uh, I was a morning person, but I'm a real like crack a noon kind of guy. Like, yes. as my dad would put it. <laughs> People think that you're lazy, and it's like. You're not, it's just the morning. It literally feels, it's the most horrible feeling to wake it up. It is. And it's like, I'm not lazy. I was up until 3 a.m. scrolling through TikTok. Like that right. took effort. <laughs> yeah. That, that takes work. That takes work. Your phone. Yeah. To get yeah. up to the charger and plug it in so you can look at TikTok more. Exactly. And occasionally yeah. you have to walk to the bathroom because you still haven't cleaned your bedpan that you bought for that purpose. <laughs> oh. oh. No. oh. I didn't, I didn't. Wait a second. That was a horrible oh. joke. <laughs> oh, uh, no. This episode brought to you by Depends. A pea pot <laughs> my grandma's from the farm. This is Wait. what they would pee in. Is that a shoe? No, I, it's a pea pot. I thought that was a ceramic mouse for a second. Because they're... <laughs> <laughs> that's our that's my idea i'm pitching the ceramic mouse peapot animated series the, 
Yes. No, this is what, because they had an outhouse. You couldn't go out in the middle of the night. Bro, the how farm. does that thing work? Do you oh, I love play? that you had that readily available. Oh, I got so much readily. See, I do have, a, I've got a lot ready, but I just never, I mean, how many shows could I have done with this teapot? And I just haven't done it. <laughs> I love that it was the Wonder. first prop right there now. <laughs> Oh that bedpan, I was like, got it. Yeah. <laughs> it was uh, the best thing uh, I've ever seen. You know, so part, of, part of this uh, podcast is really just to laugh and have a good time. You know, there's no rhyme or reason to it. It's something that Karen and I started at the beginning of the pandemic. And we're just really happy to have you guys on. If there's anything, you know, that's top of mind that you guys absolutely would love to share to our, with our listeners, please share it. Like if there's um, any kind of uh, cause or marching orders or, or <laughs> Brooke, you're looking at me. Like, I know, I, I, no, I was pro. <laughs> yeah, she looks I, like because I, I have not, no like, ideas in my head now, so I'm just like, oh, no, I'm purposely saying this because I don't know what I'm saying, and <laughs> and you're looking at me with pure. Here's the thing about Brooke what? that everybody listening should know: it's like technology is not really your friend. So Zoom, this is already a big deal, right? A huge deal. And then the fact that I'm asking you to get on some kind of a soapbox and give us like some kind of like philosophical meaning yeah. of life. I like, have, <laughs> I got nothing. It's, like, <laughs> it's tumbleweeds going through my, I have not, not a thing. Well, you you want to like. 10 months in, in LA just to think about it and you yeah. haven't thought about it? Well, here's what I want to tell you what my big thing during the pandemic was. Okay. Um, I'm not a good eater. Um, and I've been moving in and out of like powdered donuts, like mini donuts and ding dongs. And I got so angry about ding dongs because would you say ding dongs are a bakery item? Yes. I just yeah. like saying ding dong. Ding dong. Sure. <laughs> okay, it's a bakery item. Guess how many ding dongs are in a box? 12. 12. 10. You would think 12 because it's a bakery item, but there are 10 ding dongs in a box. And it was no one's heard of a baker's 10. Okay. Right. <laughs> if there were 14, yeah. Or what, but it was like, and I was so, I, that's literally what I, my, you know, I'm an activist about, we've got to get 12 ding-dongs in a box. I totally agree with you. Let's start a movement. Let's start that movement. There's nothing else important to take on right now. No, I can't wait for important. hashtag 12 ding-dongs to take but off. I just want to hear you. <laughs> See, Michael, before, you started it. Before we I think tackle we the ding-dongs, I want to just do my closing my closing view of where I am right now. I don't How like you. day, man. This is the last day. <laughs> oh that, no. Um, that looks like a fake background. <laughs> it does. It's real. And that is uh, Waikiki Beach where a rainbow comes out every morning, which made me absolutely feel um, like I was living my rainbow. Oh, and I thought you were, I thought you were gonna say furious. Nope. And then at noon, you know, right when Michael's waking up, right around noon, usually the double rainbow comes out. And that's like a thing. It's kind of a thing here, the double well, rainbow. That's, yeah. that's so, another reason you shouldn't wake up before noon. Cause that's you what can, I was gonna say. Michael, don't feel rainbow. bad about it at all. Like right. noon, double <laughs> rainbow, wake up. Well, I'm currently in my basement apartment in Jersey City and I'm not jealous of you at all. I'm looking out my window and I see a nice double rain gutter. Um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, look. And a it, cement wall. There's nothing more beautiful than a double rain gutter in yeah. Daniel. Yeah. <laughs> it has, yeah. Well, your view is so picturesque. better than mine, Michael, because I'm looking at gray, snowy skies in Cleveland, Ohio. Mm. Yeah. And speaking of what ha the grid, did the blizzard knock out the grid last yeah. year? Yeah. Is that what it was? Oh, I didn't hear. blizzard? We didn't. Uh, Brooke, what there. grid are you talking about? I thought, the, well, because we got canceled last week because the grid oh. went. Oh, oh, oh. no, no. <laughs> <laughs> no. 
So you see, I share my studio with my son and he made some changes on the board and on the computer. So we lost the internet. Oh. Yeah. So you've disowned him? Did you kick him out? No, he's uh, making too much money and he's paying rent. Oh, so oh okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's a reason to have kids. That's he's right. Like, keep them. <laughs> That's what they're for. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> um, all right. You know, these are just quick stories. And Brooke and Michael, thank you for joining. Thank you for being here. Thank you for sharing your comedy, your presence, your energy, your time. You know, if you ever want to come back, we'll do it again with that thing, Brooke. Yeah. Let's build a story around it. Let's build a story. <laughs> Let's get those ideas going, okay? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Oh, brilliant. Uh, Michael, can't wait to see you when you get back to LA. I don't know when that's oh. going to be, but... You yes, know. whenever it's safe to travel again, I, I miss it. Oh, I know, it's mm. so weird being here on this island. Everybody's tested like three times, like there's no virus here. It's mm. very weird. And now I'm going back to LA, which is the epicenter, so. Oh look, yeah, you can't. <laughs> if you wouldn't mind bringing over a mask, you know, and throwing it from a mile away. <laughs> <laughs> I can't see you. Yeah. Shoot it out of like a t-shirt cannon, the mask coming uh brooke gave me <laughs> yes. my, first, my first mask actually her sister made it she it was the beginning like about two weeks in where they were yeah. like you have to wear a mask brooke drove up parked in the middle of the street threw the mask out and i'm like can i like thank you for the mask can i hug you she's like you can't yeah. like, no. she's like i'll see you in a couple years oh my God. <laughs> so weird <laughs> yeah it's yeah, so, so it's weird. weird. Anyways, you know, it's not about the pandemic, but the beauty is we can connect like this and see each other and laugh a little, which is the yeah. Whole thing. So, and for those of us who also are not tech savvy at all, we're learning so much. Yes. Would you like to learn how to share your screen? Oh, what? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how to do that. <laughs> Actually, Matt, it's funny you bring that up because I learned how to do that for the first time this morning on a podcast. I know it almost sounded a little dirty the way I said yeah, it. Yeah. I was like, Michael, would you like to learn how to share your screen? Uh, but you know, Michael, we, can do, we can do a tutorial a little bit later on Zoom and I can teach you all the different aspects. But, but are, you, are you talking about like sharing the screen? Like I want to show you a picture. So yes, yeah, exactly. Oh, okay. Yeah, exactly. Yep. So whatever's on my computer right now, which mm -hmm. is probably, I don't know what it is, but I could share my screen and then you guys can see everything I'm working on. Okay. Oh. But because I, Karen's I, the host, it's her screen that's oh. right now, yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. no, yeah. but I can I can make your your screen available. That's what I learned today. Well, how about if we do that another week? We Let's will. do that another we week will. when I have some time to prepare. That sounds like fun. Okay. This so is a whole good. other podcast. I'm so glad yeah. I got yeah. to meet the two of you. Um, and Michael, I can't wait to see you in full garb. Oh, thank you. <laughs> well, the, the video I did today, I think I've, I did five characters and I want to say 10 different outfits. Okay. Today was a real costume parade. It was fun. <laughs> Michael, no, hold on a second. You got up way before noon then today, if you did that. I, I did. I got up at like 11. It, it was, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're just pulling it out of our eyes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Michael, it's so brilliant. I mean, it is just the fun. I mean, like I could literally, like I said, watch you for, on a 24 hour channel. It's <gasps> Coming Amazing. from you, that's incredible. Thank you. Yay. Like that blows my mind, honestly. I'm like, I'm like, it am I awake? I'm getting proof. clammy. Thank you. <laughs> You're getting awesome. clammy. You don't well, need thank to you, get everybody. Are you, are you nervous? I need <laughs> No, it goes, it's the other way. It's the <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh -huh. But thank you. It's <laughs> I'll never forget the day you offered me a mouse looking, um, <laughs> you know, bedpan. 1885. <laughs> Do they make those anymore? I doubt it. No, okay. I mean, this is literally from my grandma's farm. It's because I was thinking it's a collectible. You know, <laughs> I could go to Target. We could send Michael one if they have them at Target. <laughs> Michael, I'll just bring it to you at the Double Rainbow Gutter. 
Great, perfect. Well, when we have our big ding dong fundraiser, yes, um, yeah. to raise awareness <laughs> for a dozen Let's ding dongs. Yes, I think that's a worthy cause. 2021, the year of the ding dong. <laughs> the year of the dozen ding dong. <laughs> the dozen. Ding -dong. Yeah, D cubed everybody. <laughs> uh, well, Matt, we want you to have a safe trip home. Thanks. Um, yes. And, uh, Sorry, you have to go into quarantine again. <laughs> I know it's weird. Um, and I was supposed to check out of this uh, hotel like any normal person, like at 11. But I was like, I have to do, you don't understand, I have to do this podcast, right? So I need like another hour. And they're like, you're going to do a podcast? You're not going to like surf or be on <laughs> that extra hour? I'm going to stay inside. I'm like, no, I'm going to stay right home. here and just do. Focus on technology. Mm -hmm. Great. We're going to hang out with a couple of ding dongs. Yeah. 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 That's going to be the, the terminology, the ding dongs. So, to all you ding dongs, I'm going to go and hop on this plane to ding dong land. <laughs> and uh, thank you guys for being here. Thank you. Oh, thank oh. all you ding dongs. It was so fun. Thank you. This <laughs> is my face hurts funny. from laughing. Bye bye. Good. Yes. Yeah. Karen, we did our job. We did. We did.